My name is Yadley Wataki. I'm the Interim Director of Student Leadership and Activities. I started here in May of 2009. Um, I graduated from Ferris in May of 2009 with my degree in Plastics Engineering and Technology, and I'm currently pursuing my Master's of Business Administration through Ferris. Um, as the interim director, our office oversees um, all the student organizations, the volunteer center, as well as the co-curricular transcript and um, some of the major campus programs. Um, obviously with the RSOs, we have over 200 different ones. And with the volunteer center, the students are able to record their hours that they do on campus and off campus. And we also have several different sort of volunteer opportunities available for them. And then we just purchased our sink, which kind of brings everything together with the volunteer center, RSOs, and the co the transcripts. So. My daily responsibilities consist of working with the RSOs. Um, we have several different forms um, and policies that we enforce daily, such as campus posting, uh, use of grounds for using the campus quad, RSO fundraising form, so I approve all of those. Um, if we have any major programs on campus, I have contract signing authority, so I have to review the contracts for the different student organizations uh, who are bringing in comedians, speakers, um, concerts, and um, review those and sign them, making sure that they have the proper insurance and we get um, anything figured out for purchasing so that they're able to pay the artists when they come in. Um, I also meet with the student groups if they have any questions or concerns or are interested in having um, something brought on campus, we talk about that, as well as I advise several different student organizations, um, so the students are in and out of my office all the time. It can be challenging at times, um, and so sometimes you know I just have to close my door to try to get something done. But normally I have an open door policy, where if a student has a question or concern, they're more than welcome to stop in and see me. Um, I try to help them as much as possible, and if I can't help them, I send them to Dean Leroy Wright, um, and hopefully he can help them. But um, I personally advise Entertainment Unlimited, the campus programming board, as part of my job, as well as Pan Hellenic Council and. Student Homecoming Committee, the Finance Division of Student Government, um, and I think, oh, and the Student Leadership Activities Advisory Council, which is the um, council that approves the new student organizations. I think it's just that the students don't quite understand some of the policies sometimes, and so they come into my office kind of angry or upset. and. They want to know why they couldn't post this poster or, you know, why they couldn't have this event. And so it's just explaining to them um, and teaching them what the policies are because, you know, there are certain standards that organizations have to follow on campus. I love working with students. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And then um, obviously with EU, I love the programs, um, being involved on campus and um, Really, I enjoy sorority life as well, and so working with the ladies, trying to um, get them active on campus, and um, all that stuff is a lot of fun. So. I was really involved as a student. I was in a sorority, I was in student government, um, as well as in my professional group, Society of Plastics Engineers, and I just love campus life. and. Um, when I graduated, I, a job fell through and one here was open and so I applied for it and because of those experiences I was able to get the position. So. Um, I think it's obviously helping with um, management skills. I'm also getting my MBA through Ferris so that's obviously helping me with my future career whenever I choose to do. Um, but I hope to stay here for a few more years. I, I really enjoy working with the students. So. Mm, I hope to have um, the community service aspect um, to create that town and gown relationship between the students and the community because the students are part of the community and it's important to maintain a good relationship between the two and also to have as many programs um, and a variety of programs to offer to students 
um, and to just sort of expand on the out of classroom experiences that they already are doing. I think that we are seeing an increase of students being involved in student organizations. They're realizing that gaining that leadership skills and teamwork skills is really helping them get a career after graduation and um, so we just hope to continue that I guess. I just think it's important to gain, like I said, those leadership skills, those communication sort of soft skills of working with others and um, the student organization is a great way to start that. I always say that student organizations are like a mini business. I mean you have to pay your dues, they have to deal with financials, they have to plan events, um, they have to you know write their rules and constitutions and follow them and so um, I always try to encourage students to be part of at least one student organization. Um, if they're not involved in a student organization, they can always volunteer. Um, there are multiple agencies in the community that are always looking for help. Project Starburst is an example. Um, it's a food pantry. Uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters is always looking for bigs, and that's just um, you know playing or taking a, a child um, to the movies at least once a week, you know, or taking them to the play playground. Um, as well as you know just help talking to your professors seeing if they need any help with any sort of events that they have coming up and so that's just a great resource. I think it helps them prepare them for going into the real world. Um, obviously I have personal experience because um, the reason I got this job was like I said because I was so involved as a student it just gives you um, some of the skills that you need uh, to enter into the workforce. So. Just to kind of be there to listen and to help them if they have any questions. I know a lot of our students have that have worked in our office have asked us for letters of reference and then um, they said that, you know, hey Ali, I just need to chat with you for a bit about, you know, what I want to do when I grow up and so I hope to always be there and to help them if they have any questions about anything.